Hello students. So this video we are going to see a typical projection of section problem. So here we can go to the question. A cube. So here it is clearly given it is a cube and 40 mm long. So side is edge is 40 mm long and have its vertical faces equally inclined. Then how it is resting on? First of all the dimensions is given. Then how it is resting on? To VP. Okay. It is cut by a axillary inclined plane. It is cut by a axillary inclined plane in such a way that the true shape is a regular hexagon. So other than this 40 mm, they have not given the true inclination angle, uh, cutting section angle, anything is not given. So determine the inclination of the cutting plane with the HP. Draw the sectional view and true shape of the section. So here again we need to draw it. So this is our problem. So we can listen how the problem is going to be perceived. So first the XY line has to be drawn. The XY line. So here it is said it is a uh, cube and it is simply sitting uh, uh, positioned on the ground. It, the two vertical faces are equally inclined. Well, how it is equally inclined? If it is uh, per perfectly sitting like this means it is 90 degree inclined. So this angle will be 90 degree. So if it is equally inclined means the two corner has to be 45 degree. So uh, you can fix a point and you can draw a 45 degree inclined line on both the edges. So this will be equally inclined. So now we can for 40 mm you can fix the uh, cube like this. So now we can go for the front view. So this is the front view. So whenever this kind of problem is given, whenever this kind of problem is given, here we can fix it. Well, you can take the, these two part, this part. You can take the half of this. You can take and this part. You can take the half middle. So now you can join these two points, and you can section it. This part can be removed. This part has to be removed, and remaining is this one. Next, we can give the name of this. The sectioning plane. Now, as usual, we can draw the axillary section plane. We can draw the perpendicular lines from the each point, three points. Now, from here, here also you can join it. So here we can name it. This is one, two, three, four, five, six points are there. So look at the one. So from here you can measure six and one. So this is six. This is one, and this is five. Next. This is 4, this is 3 and this is 2. So now we can join all the edge uh, points. Now this will be the regular hexagon. So this is a way. Whenever the problem is given like this means directly we can proceed the pro problem. So here the one thing you have to keep in mind the 40 mm long and then whenever it is given as the true shape will be given as a regular hexagon. Here the wordings will not be changed. The only thing is they, they can change if the question is asked means that dimension alone they can change. So this is the only typical problem. So here, this is the only way to proceed. Right? Next, we can go to the problem. So here, how we are going to proceed it is, first we are going to draw the XY line like this. We can draw the XY line. VP, HP, X, Y. Next, so here we need to draw the 45 degree inclined lines. So here we can fix any one of the point at here. This is the point from this point. I'm just going to draw find the 45 degree inclined way. So this is 145. Another this is this is another 45. Okay, now here it is 40 mm. From here you can make 40 mm and this. You can make 40 mm. So here by using the template we can fix it. The remaining one point that can be fixed like this. This is a square here. And so now I fix the remaining one point that is here.
can also finish it. So this is a way of doing it. Next, we can go to the line like this. So here the height is also, if it is a square cube, so the height also will be what? Height also will be 40 mm. So we can draw here, this is also a 40 mm of line. And next, from here also we can draw a 40 mm of line. So this is a way. Next, we can complete it. So this is the cube. Now we are going to give the name. So here in this problem, I am only going to give the name at the bottom. So why we are going to only give the bottom means the top portion surely we are going to remove it. So unnecessarily naming the uh, top portion is not need, not required. So this is A, B, C, D. So here this is A dash, B dash, C dash and within bracket D dash. So the top portion we have not named. So why we have named this within bracket is this is at the bottom. At the top portion this here it will be this part we are going to remove it. After sectioning we can see. So I already told to take the half of this portion. The total length here it is exactly it is 2, 2.7. So nearly uh, we need to take 1.35. So the value will be here. So this, this is the value 1.35. Here I will be taking here. So this is the way. Now I am just going to join these two and this is the sectioning plane. This is the sectioning plane. Here I'm be I'm going to name it. This is one dash, two dash, three dash. So up to this we have named it, but we don't know how the complete profile will come. So to find out that, so just listen. I'm just extending the vertical lines from the sectioning part. So here I have named this as one, two, three. What about this? This will be four, and this will be five, and this will be six. So look at here, this can be named as 4 dash within bracket and the 5 dash within bracket and 6 dash within bracket I have named it. So this is the complete profile will be on the portion, section to portion. Now as usual, just I am going to draw a parallel line to this sectioning line that will be called as axillary sectioning plane. So now I am going to draw the perpendicular line from each. So just to find out only one perpendicular line, first we need to find out only one perpendicular line. So here I can join it. Next. So the next point I'm just drawing by just rolling the scale. I can easily find out. Again, I'm going to take the compass. And I am going to measure where the 6, point, 6 and 1 is here. This is the line. And the same line is here. So look at the profile. This is the line. Line flow will be like this. So from here I am going to measure it. So this is 6. The same value will be for 4 also. Here this is equal to for 4 also. I can take the, the same on both the side. Same value. Next. I am just going to take this one, measure this one and this value will also will be equal at both the sides. Okay, and one end will be here, another end we need to find that is this length, the diagonal. I am just joining this. Now we can easily join all the points. Okay, so now the remaining things we can hatch it. This is 6, 
and this is five four three two one okay and this portion we can hash this so this is the section to top view and this will be the true shape here also they are asking determine the inclination they are asking what is that inclined with inclination with hp they are asking so it's very simple you just keep your protractor here and you can find it what will be the inclination here now up to 50 then 54 or 55 you can take it so here it can be assumed as 55 so that is this theta angle will be what 55 degree or 54 degree so so this is a value here you can also make the dimensioning so the dimensioning is so this is taking a parallel line to it look at here i am just taking the parallel line not just like that i have not taken so this is 40 and the height whenever the cube height is also the same this is also 40 okay so this is the true shape okay so this is a way of proceeding this problem next uh, this, uh, there are some of the typical problems are available like this so we can see one by one thank you